If the Vertex team is tasked with the cleaning of the inside of a tank, the tank must first be drained. To do this, the industrial cleaning team will attach the vacuum truck hose to the manway drain and open the drain valve. From there, a safety watch and confined space professional will be required to be on site throughout the duration of the cleaning activity. There are two methods to complete the cleaning of the inside of a tank. One, the cleaning can be performed without the prolonged exposure of a cleaning crew inside the tank. In this method, the cleaning team will enter the tank with a gamma jet, a high volume, low pressure wash tool, and or a 3D tool, a high pressure, low volume wash tool that is attached to the high pressure pump or chemical unit. During the cleaning process, the man door is closed. Because the man door is closed, either a secondary manway with a collar must be made to run the required line into the tank, or the line must be fed through the top vent of the tank. With the lines in the proper position, the chosen tool can now be positioned in a central location within the tank. The wash tool is now turned on and the Gamma Jet or 3D tool begins washing the walls of the tank. Once the chosen tool has completed the cleaning of the tank, the crew will shut off the Gamma Jet or 3D tool and ensure all interior walls are clean. Upon confirmation that the walls are cleaned, the crew will disassemble the apparatus and remove the Gamma Jet or 3D tool. Alternatively, the cleaning team enters the tank with a high-pressure steam hose that is connected to either a high-pressure wash unit or chemical cleaning truck. The cleaning team also enters the tank, carrying the vacuum truck hose, which is positioned on the floor of the tank so that debris and sludge can be washed towards it. The pump located on the chosen unit is turned on, and the crew member inside the tank maneuvers the wash gun inside the tank until all sludge is sucked out and interior walls are cleaned. Following the completion of either method, the cleaning crew will squeegee any remaining debris at the bottom of the tank towards the vacuum hose or drain to be removed by the vacuum truck attached to it. Once cleaning is completed, the industrial cleaning crew will exit the tank, flagging the manway until inspection is completed by your on-site project team. If another tank requires cleaning, the industrial cleaning team will then proceed to the next tank. When all tanks have been cleaned, the industrial cleaning team will pack up all supplies and drive the vacuum truck to be emptied at an approved disposal site.